Hello everyone, my name is Larseth, and welcome back to episode 23 of our The Long Dark playthrough. Or our playthrough in The Long Dark, rather. Um, so, right off the bat, we're gonna... F oh. We're gonna eat, apparently. Because I didn't realise how hungry I was. So we're gonna actually have some of this soda. Because that gives us some calories as well. Lovely. And then, what shall I eat? Probably, probably some nice crackers. I should really have eaten them when I picked them up. There we go. So today we're going to go outside and have a look round a bit more. And probably loot a, a bit more stuff. So how much weight am I on? 20.42. Um, I'm going to keep that rancid venison on me. I can use it as a decoy. Or I can try to use it as a decoy, rather. So, we're going to do that. Uh, we, we are going to pick up a pry bar. Because, Sod's Law, we'll go out and then we'll need a pry bar to get into a locker or a car or something like that. How cold is it outside today? Minus seven. Not too bad. Any wolves? Any wolves. Right, we haven't looked in this one over here, have we? I don't think so. So let's go and have a look-see in here. I actually would quite... like to, um... see the bear from a distance. And then I can maybe take a few pot shots at it and hope for the best. Probably wouldn't go so well, I imagine. Probably end up getting savaged like last time and I'll scream like... A child, and yeah, all in all, it'll be very uh, funny. Ooh, condensed milk. That'll be really useful because we'll take that with us on our way back because it's like a massive calorie boost, essentially. Pork and beans. Now in the microwave today. No savages have been putting their cups of coffee in the microwave. I say savages, I do that myself, but. It never quite tastes the same after you put it back in. I'm sure there is a scientific reason behind that. Right. This house appears to be a little bare. Tin of sardines. We'll probably take tin of. T we'll probably take some sardine tins with us as well, because they offer a decent amount of calories, and obviously you can open up by hand. You don't need to also take a um, can opener with you. Um, anything on the floor? Any rifle cartridges? There is a candy bar. Bit of a random place to leave a candy bar, but I'm not going to complain. Cardboard matches. Nothing. Ooh, storm lantern. Okay, so I see how that works. It just turns off the one you've got and lights the one that you choose to pick up. Right, there we go. Um... Warren Wool Socks book. I wonder how long I could survive for if I just survive, uh, like just literally sat in the house and ate the stuff that we currently I we currently have stockpiled. Anything else? God, maybe our luck's running a bit low. In the past, we found loads of rifle cartridges and stuff like that sat on the floor. No such luck this time. Um, drawer, painkillers. Can never have enough painkillers, I guess. Sport vest, orange soda. Nothing hiding in here. Ooh, newsprint roll. Is there actually a medicine cupboard in here? I don't think there is. No, there's not. Take all the water. So, have we got actually any water back in our... In this, pla in this place? I don't think we do. We're just surviving off, like, sugary drinks, essentially. Well, that was pretty, um... Uninspiring, I have to say. Although I suppose it is only quite a small house. It's, like, got no upstairs, so... I don't know what I expected, really. 
Right, let's turn that off. Get our rifle out and continue. Have we looked at that car? I think we've looked in that car. Oh. Poor doggy. Wonder what happened to the dog. Right. Nothing around here. Let's can go inside and hopefully this house has a, a bit more in, in it. I can instantly see some uh, salted crackers, so it can't be that bad. That looks like the biggest box of crackers ever. Shoes, lantern fuel, that'll be that'll come in handy. Is this what happens when you don't have a lot of fuel left? It just sort of flashes. Because that is like really annoying. <laughs> it's like being in a bloody horror movie. Speaking in a horror movie, I don't know if I've already mentioned it, but they were pl there was talk of them putting some NPCs in sandbox mode. Like I think that it was a sort of a quite a far off plan, but nevertheless, that's like imagine just walking along in the middle of you know absolutely nowhere when you're used to playing this game and not seeing a soul, only to then find okay. the you know, you can see a person off in the distance. That would just make you crap your pants. Or at least it would for me. Worst of all, if they bloody speak. Can you imagine that? Hearing, like, again, you normally only hear your own voice. And then you suddenly start hearing another person. That would just mess you up. Wall matches. Except, oh, God. Accelerant. Thermal underwear. This thing's about to go out, I swear. We are probably going to have to go back and drop some stuff off after this house. Just because we are way over our... Actually, no, we're not that far. He's just being lazy. That's all of this done, isn't it? I think. Right, come on. Open up the lantern that... I'm pretty sure there is a lantern that's got fuel in. There we go. We'll fill one of these up once we uh, get back. God, we got can openers coming out of our bloody ears. Ooh, fresh rabbit cooked. I'm gonna actually eat that now. And have a drink. So we got plenty of water now just by scavenging. That can't be too bad. Dusty dog food. Tin sardines. We've got lots of peaches. Ooh, salty crackers. And the new. No more coffee? No coffee. I'm sad. Right, no one in there either. Hmm. Um. We looked in here, didn't we? Wow, I would imagine so. I thought this place had an upstairs, but clearly it doesn't. Right, let's extinguish this. What other areas are there that we can look at? Have we got any more houses to explore in this area? I can't remember. Honestly, can't remember how big it is. No. Well, actually, no, there is. Because isn't there one on the... The front, the coast? Maybe uh, like over there. There's one over there, I think. But I can't remember whether I've already explored it. We'll go past it anyway and then loop back round... Just hope we don't bump into any wolves, because there tends to be... Oh, there's two houses here, anyway. There tends to be a lot of wolves. Again, in this area. Ah, that's where they all are. 
Is there a rhyme for how many wolves you can see? Like, there's obviously the, the, the magpies, how many magpies you see, you know, one for sorrow, two for joy, and all that. Is that a similar thing for wolves? Or is it all just one for sorrow, two for sorrow, three for sorrow, etc.? Metal pan. Probably been, shouldn't be using our lanterns so much when we don't need to. Ugh, moldy, salty crackers. You would have thought being salty, they wouldn't have gone moldy. Ooh. That'll come in handy. Right, that's most of the kitchen done. Why do it look like there's a nice little bit of light coming through the window shining perfectly on this candy bar? Or granola bar, sorry. The chosen granola bar. Okay, I'm going to have to turn on my lantern because I cannot see anything. <laughs> Pretty much. Um, anything there? No, no. Ooh, cardboard matches. Another storm lantern. How much does this have in it? 85. Wow. Right, so that's got 46. That's got 85. I'm actually going to harvest this one. Because you get the fuel back from it, I believe. You better bloody get the fuel back from it. Yes, you do. Okay, so that's fine. And then we'll leave that one. We'll probably harvest the ones we've got back at the house. Or the garage, because those had quite low um, quality as far as I can remember. So you can probably all see it quite fine. But I would have not seen these running shoes. I just could not see anything without this light. Probably be more economical to light a fire and carry a brand round with me, to be honest. But that would require some sort of modicum of intelligence to figure out. Snow pants. Ooh, I wonder if snow pants are better than our existing pants. We'll look at that when we get back to the uh, get back to our house. Orange soda. Um, toilet again. We'll take all of it. We haven't got far to walk, so it's not the end of the world that we're going to be going to be very tired when we get home. Antiseptic. Lovely. Ooh, a ski jacket. Right, let's actually have a look about that. Those clothes. So, thermal underwear. Snow pants. Lovely. Uh, we've already got a ski jacket on, haven't we? Ragged ski jacket is actually worse than what we've currently got. But is that just because it's really low quality? Because what we've currently got on is 87%. Hmm. That's fine. I think we're doing pretty good. Th new thick wool sweater. Where are that? Lovely. I can't imagine why a dress shirt, you'd want to wear a dress shirt out here. Except maybe looking very fancy while you were being chased around by wolves. Right. Our friends are still out there looking on the ice for god knows what. Of course there is the chance that they will eventually wander over here. Looks like one already is, so... Let's uh, get in this house. Unfortunately, we can't sprint because obviously we're over encumbered by quite a lot. Let's jump in here, loot this house, and then we'll get back home, I think. I'm pretty sure there's another house to loot. Oh, wow, that's a bit of a. Ooh, fish. It's a bit of a weird entrance. The front door leads literally next to your fridge. And once again, I'm going to. Open, no, oh, turn on my lantern so I can actually see what the hell I'm looking at. Oh, that's really good. 
That's really useful. That's the other thing I like about um, Coastal Highway and Mystery Lake is there's a lot of nice fishing areas. Which I quite enjoy. And it's quite easy to get um, out in there. Uh, sort of fishing line and make hooks and stuff like that. While we're over at the lighthouse, I think what we're going to do is go over to the boat and try and make some arrowheads while we're over there and then bring all of those back, maybe craft some arrows and bring those with us. Because I don't particularly want to have to go, like, I'd quite like to start making arrows and using a bow relatively soon, but what I don't want to do is have to, you know, bring everything over here and then go all the way back. Ooh. Go all the way back, um over to the lighthouse. Because that's just a, a, a hassle, pretty much. And I'm far too lazy. Right. Cabinets. Wood matches. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to walk, walk back after this because we're going very slowly. Very, very slowly. At least now we've got some nice clothes. I could use this. And clothes to replace the ones we lost at the hands of um, Yogi the a few uh, episodes ago. Right, we will take this and then we're barely going to have to move after this. So, accelerant. Thermal underwear, flare, right, so because uh, this is literally as fast as I can go, this isn't me uh, <laughs> just being really slow, so what I'm going to do is put this away, and we will quickly, let's, oh, no, I didn't mean to do that, let's, actions, let's refuel that. And then refuel that. And what else can we do to reduce our weight a little bit? Um, let's get rid of some of this stuff. Harvest all of this. It'll take us a little while, but at least it'll mean we'll walk a little bit faster. And we're going to have to do this when we get back anyway. So all in all, I think it's a good plan, personally. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And obviously, all this cloth and leather just builds up our stock so that we can repair any any all of the clothes we've currently got. Although, when we get back into the lighthouse, hopefully all the stuff is... Literally all the stuff should be cured. And then we can um, make ourselves some deer skin somethings. Um, I haven't decided what yet, necessarily. Um... And what else will we make? We'll probably also make our wolf skin coat, I think it is. I'm going to quickly have a drink. Uh, where are you? There you go. That's cool. Uh, we should probably... Oh, we have to cook that, really. Um, let's have these moldy crackers. I believe food poisoning you can only get from... Um, meat that's moldy. I don't think like preserves that are moldy can give you food poisoning. I think when it says moldy, it's just referring to sort of a status of the food item. Um, in turn, like within, it's within a certain quality band, if that makes any sense. Um, let's harvest the last few of these. Have cloth com coming out of our ears. The other good thing about all these houses is literally all of them have curtains, they have towels hanging all over the place, they normally have pillows, they normally have um, 
like seats. A lot of the a lot of the seats are made of wood and um, cloth, so those quite handy as well. See stuff like this. I always think I should do off camera, but then when you do stuff like that off camera, it gives it it does a. I feel it sort of gives a really weird false perception of how long you've actually survived because like obviously the time you've watched will be a lot l less. Well, not a lot, but s at least a little bit less than the, uh, the amount of time you actually have survived in the game. Sort of s throws it off. Um, right, let's... I think these are the... Almost the last ones. We should probably head back now because we've got less than one hour of daylight left. Ooh. We will definitely need our trusty lantern. Or so I can actually find my way out. There we go. You watch the bloody wolf. Wow, that doesn't look terrifying much. That is a really ominous sight, isn't it? It's really foggy. So the light from my thing in the fog is just terrifying, quite frankly. It also means that anything like wolves or bears are essentially just shadows. Fortunately, there aren't any around here, but still doesn't make me entirely confident. Right, I'm going to instantly draw... Well, actually, no, I'll end the episode here. Next episode, we'll uh, do all the sorting and stuff like that. Uh, but thank you very much for watching, and I will speak to you next time. Take care.